Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. So today we're going to take a look at some famous people. Uh, these are the German 5 marks commemorative silver coins issued prior to the reunification of Germany. Uh, specifically today, I'm going to be showing you the 3 silver coins uh, issued in 1968. But before we get into this, uh, please leave me a like if you enjoy this sort of content and don't forget to share and subscribe. So let's get into it. Alright, as usual, let's start with a little introduction. The Federal Republic of Germany, or West Germany, was formed following the end of the Second World War. Uh, the country reunified with East Germany, or the German Democratic Republic, in 1990. Uh, Germany adopted the Euro in 2002, so these coins here have been demonetized. Before the adoption of the Euro, the German are 5 mark circulating coins in widespread use were like the, these examples over here. Uh, these coins were initially minted in silver, but this was changed to copper nickel in 1975. Now the first uh, commemorative uh, silver 5 marks coins was issued in 1952. Uh, these coins were not intended for circulation and continued to be uh, issued until uh, 1979 where new coins are minted in copper nickel was introduced. Here is the first uh, copper nickel uh, 5 marks commemorative coin. Now these uh, copper nickel commemorative coins uh, continue to be uh, minted uh, with different designs uh, on the reverse until uh, 1986. So let's now go through the specifications of the coins. Uh, these commemorative coins were minted in 0.625 silver. Uh, they have a weight of 11.2 grams, a diameter of 29 millimeters, and a thickness of 2.07 millimeter uh, with an incused uh, lettered edge. Uh, this gives the coins a uh, silver weight of approximately uh, 7 grams or 0.225 uh, troy ounces. Now the coins were minted in both uh, uncirculated and in proofs and individual mints uh, release uh, different designs uh, for each of the years. Uh, these are indicated by the uh, mint mark on the reverse of the coins. Now prior to 1968, uh, West Germany only issued uh, one five marks uh, commemorative coins for each year. Uh, it was only from 1968 onwards that multiple coins with different designs uh, were released. For 1968, there was uh, actually uh, three different coins. So let's uh, now cut to the next screen and take a look at the first coin. The first 1968 coin that I have here was issued to commemorate the 150th anniversary of the birth of Frederick William Rifferson. Uh, these coins were designed by Reinhard Heinsdorf, and on the obverse you can see the German heraldic eagle uh, facing to the left. Uh, right above here you can see the legend uh, Bundesrepublik Deutschland or German uh, Federal Republic, and below we can see the face value uh, 5 Deutschmark, as well as the year of issue. Now the J mint mark over here indicates that this coin was uh, minted at the Hamburg Mint or the Hamburgerscher uh, Muncher. Here on the office we have the portrait of uh, Frederick William Rafferson uh, with his name above. And right below we have the years that he lived, uh, 1818 to 1888. Now on the uh, edge we can see the incused lettering uh, which reads, uh, I know for a layer and a layer for I know. Uh, this translates to uh, one for all and all for one. There were just over 3.9 million of these coins are minted, and the mint also uh, produced uh, 140,000 uh, improved. Now, Rafferson was a German mayor and the pioneer of the cooperative or co op. Uh, generally, a co op is a business uh, owned and managed by the people who work there or by people who use uh, the services. Uh, some uh, credit unions uh, were named after him, uh, including the uh, Swiss uh, Rifferson Bank and the Bank uh, Rifferson of uh, Luxembourg. Okay. 
Our second uh, 1968 coin was minted to commemorate the 500th anniversary of the death of Johannes uh, Gutenberg. Uh, these coins were designed by Doris uh, Waschbrock. And on the obverse, we can see the uh, German heretic eagle again uh, with a different design uh, facing to the left. And above the uh, legend uh, Bundesrepublik Deutschland with the face value below. Uh, the year of issue is just uh, below the uh, uh, the feet of the eagle. Over here we have the G main mark, and this main mark indicates that this coin was minted at the SMBW mint of uh, Karlsruhe, or Stadtlicher München uh, Baden Württemberg uh, Karlsruhe. Here on the reverse we have the portrait of Johannes Gutenberg, uh, with his name uh, over here. And the year below reads uh, plus uh, 1468. On the edge, uh, we have the enclosed lettering, uh, which reads Gesegnet sei, we are the swift uh, fun, which uh, translates to uh, blessed who uh, invented the writing. There were just over 2.9 million of these coins uh, minted, and the mint also produced another 100,000 coins in proof. Uh, Gutenberg was a German inventor and printer who introduced uh, printing to Europe. Uh, he essentially uh, started the printing revolution as his printing press uh, revolutionized uh, the bookmaking process and ushered in the Renaissance period on the continent. Unfortunately, uh, as you can see on this coin, uh, I believe it's been damaged by uh, PVC. Uh, you can see all these uh, green uh, stains on the coin. Uh, this is usually uh, indicative of uh, PVC damage. But the details are still quite clear. So I was uh, pretty happy to get this coin at a really good deal actually. Okay. Our final 1968 coin here was minted to commemorate the 150th anniversary of the birth of Max von uh, Petenkoffer. Uh, the designer of this coin is uh, Hans Karl uh, Bujev. And on the obverse, we can see another design of the German heretic eagle, again uh, facing to the left. And the legend above reads uh, the face value of the coin, a 5 Deutschmark. And the Bundesrepublik uh, Deutschland legend is below now. Over here, we we have the date of the issue uh, between the uh, legs of the eagle, uh, 1968. And the D main mark here uh, indicates that this uh, coin was minted at the Munich uh, Bavarian State Mint, or the Bayerische uh, Hauptmünzen. Here on the reverse, we have the portrait of Max von Pettenkoffer. Uh, with his name here above, and the years are where he lived, uh, 1818 to 1901. On the edge, uh, we have the German uh, incused uh, lettering. Uh, pardon me if I'm butchering it, but it reads uh, Hergiana uh, Strebert, uh, Dear Ubel, Watzel out zu often, uh, which translates to uh, hygiene stripes uh, to reduce the root of all evil. There were just over 2.9 million of these coins uh, minted, and the mint also produced another 100,000 coins uh, in proof. Uh, patent coffer would have been uh, very relevant uh, today uh, during this pandemic period because he was a chemist and a hygienist. Uh, he was known for establishing the science of uh, hygiene and as the strong uh, proponent for the establishment of hygiene uh, institute in Germany. Uh, this coin is actually in very, very high grade. Uh, extra fine. Very, very nice details on this coin. And a very nice luster as well. Okay. Alright, before we end, uh, let me just share with you my final thoughts. 
uh, these commemorative silver coins are quite uh, pretty and do make a very nice uh, set. Uh, if you're looking to start a set, there are actually uh, 43 coins in total, uh, 28 in silver and another 15 in copper nickel. Now all the coins will have uh, different designs uh, on the reverse. Now these coins are pretty common and I don't believe that there's a key date. Uh, you can find them quite easily on platforms like uh, eBay and they usually sell uh, between uh, 10 to $20 uh, Singapore dollars uh, depending on condition. Uh, one point of advice that I can give, if you intend to buy one online, uh, please look out for listings uh, with the actual picture of the coin and not one with a generic picture. Uh, that way you will know uh, the exact condition of the coin and the grade that you are actually getting. Uh, generally, uh, coins uh, in higher grade uh, command uh, better uh, premium, uh, while uh, proof coins are generally uh, sold uh, in their main packaging uh, such as these. You can also sometimes find uh, sellers uh, listing these coins uh, in bulk. Uh, the coins are typically in uh, poorer grades, but are usually sold uh, very near to silver spot prices. Uh, if you are looking to stack silver, uh, these lots uh, could be one option. Uh, note that uh, 5 of these coins uh, is over 1 ounce of silver. So if you can get a lot of 5 coins for a very near spot, uh, I think that would be a great win. Uh, of course, again, I'm not a financial advisor and any financial uh, decision that you make uh, should be uh, made uh, carefully and after uh, consulting uh, with a professional uh, financial uh, planner uh, before you make uh, such decisions. Okay, with that out of the way, I think that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, be sure to stay tuned to my channel if you'd like to see uh, more videos about the rest of the coins in my collection. Or check out my video content page uh, for other videos on all the coins that I uh, have shown. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them below. Otherwise, don't forget to leave me a like if you have enjoyed this content. And don't forget to hit that share and subscribe buttons if you have not done so. Uh, as always, uh, please uh, take care, uh, be safe, and have a nice day.